So if you've been anywhere around an internet connection in these last couple of days, you've probably seen a ton of these. These images and videos with adorable little avatar versions of everyone and their mom were made with an app called My Idol. And I'm here not only to give it a five star review, I want to give you guys a super quick tutorial just in case you don't speak Chinese. So the first thing you're going to do is go to the app store and look for My Idol. Absolutely no spaces in there. The very first thing that pops up should be this and go ahead and download it. I cannot believe that with all of the talent that went into this application, it is free, but it is. Jump on that bandwagon, take advantage. So once the app stops downloading, go ahead and open it up. And the first thing it's gonna ask you for is a photograph. Let's just start with ourselves, shall we? For your photo, you're probably gonna be tempted to pull something off of Facebook where you're just looking real fly, but usually we tend to have photos where we're like at that angle. So what we're gonna look for here is a head on picture, no hair, nothing in the way really good lighting. I would suggest, even if it's a bad hair day or your makeup's not on fleek, to go ahead and just take a picture right then and there. Pull your hair back and snap a couple pictures. Remember, it's better to keep your mouth closed. Try to have the least amount of expression in your face possible, which is like super hard for me, but you know. If you actually smile, it's gonna try to superimpose teeth under your actual teeth and it's gonna assume that your teeth are your lips and it's just awkward and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Anyway, go ahead and do that and import the photo into the application using this button. And you're gonna start by lining it up with that little cross. It doesn't have to be perfection, especially in my case, my nose is a little crooked, so uh, it's kind of hard for me to decide where to put the cross. But just try to make the line go straight down through the middle of your nose and your lips, if possible. <laughs> and keep your eyes on that horizontal bar. Click the little green check mark, obviously, on the right. And then it's gonna do a quick scan of your face. At this point, it will automatically decide where it believes that your eyes start and end and the sides of your face, the edges of your nose and everything. Tap once on the image and you'll be able to zoom in. Go ahead and review and try to put all the arrows exactly where they should be. So once it is to your liking, click the green button, which now is on the left. Sometimes the green's on the right, sometimes it's on the left. I don't know, but I mean, hey. Okay, so the first thing that's gonna pop up is you pretty much looking like a boy. Click on the little sweater on the bottom left-hand side. Now that's going to bring up this awesome menu where you can do so many really cool things. Camera issues. All right, so at the very top, you're going to notice that you have two little kanjis. The left one is for males, the right one is for females. So choose wisely. <laughs> You'll notice that the females have a slightly smaller frame. The default hairdos are gonna be, you know, more typically female and the clothing as well. Once you do that, the first little pop-up is going to be a clock. You get to decide if you wanna look old or if you wanna look like a baby. Choose what you want. Most of us will be around three or four. The next thing you're gonna do is actually make modifications to your face. This is, you know, it's kind of like Photoshop or like one of those apps that all makeup gurus use that makes their skin look like it's porcelain. You're gonna see four little dials. The first one is gonna remove a lot of the highlights, so it's just gonna kind of smooth out the skin. The second dial is going to make you whiter. The third dial is going to do additional smoothing. It will literally make you look like your skin is perfect and also make you look more like a cartoon. And then the fourth one is saturation of the face. So they kind of pre-select a body for you based on the color of your skin in the picture, I think. So you're just gonna try to match it the best you can. And if it's just totally off and you wanna choose a different skin color, go to the bottom, you're gonna see all those little circles of color and click to see if any of those suit you. If you don't like them better than what you already had, go back to the initial white square and it'll take you back to where you were. So that's that one. The next one you're gonna see a four leaf clover that is pre-selected outfits that are really adorable. But I think before we put an outfit on our avatar, let's make sure that she actually looks like. Oh good, it's still recording. Okay, first things first, the eyes. Choose the right eyes for you and you're gonna see that everything is grayed out initially. And when you click on it to try to test it out, it's gonna stay gray and also have some letters on it. So that just means loading. Uh, as soon as it's not loading anymore, it'll turn white and you can select it and see what it looks like on your little dolly. Choose the ones you want. Do the same with the hair. It's not like the we, you can't be like, I want this hairdo, but in a different color. There is what there is. 
As they say, it is what it is. I hate that phrase. I'm gonna go with this beautiful blue hair because in an ideal world, that's what my hair would look like, <laughs> at least today. Once you have that, you can do accessories such as sunglasses, facial hair, very strange facial tattoos. And if you don't like any of the pre-selected outfits, you can put on your own shirt and pants and shoes. So it's really fun if you're into fashion or playing with dolls, <laughs> you can have fun with this for hours. Once you've decided, okay, I love my avatar, it looks great. Go to the top right hand corner, click on that, and that is going to bring you sort of a full body of your avatar. Drag around and get like a 360 view. Ooh, looking good, girl, you've been working out. Once you're satisfied with your avatar, go ahead and put again on the top right corner, and that's gonna save your avatar into your people bank. That's what I call it. Select the one that you wanna insert into a video. On the far right, you're gonna see a winky smiley face. You can click on that and see very quick snapshots, I guess they're kind of like GIF animations, of your avatar doing silly things. The only problem I've seen with these is that when you want to go and share them, if you click on them, three little icons come up that are unknown to me. We try to click on one and it just doesn't let you. So I think it just, you have to have that service to be able to share it. They're still fun to look at, there's not tons you can do with them. The next button from the right to left, so the third button from left to right, <laughs> uh, click on that one and you're going to get snapshots and with these you can save them so click on the one you like and the first thing you're going to see pop up is something reminiscent of the photo library or the camera roll whatever on the iphone so go ahead and click that and check means it's saved want to go back click the back button a lot of this is so intuitive and now we're going to get into video okay <laughs> these are so crazy these might take a little bit longer to load it's going to be letters over the gray until it's ready once it's white go ahead and click it and it will insert your avatar into the video. It never sounded better in my life. Play around with these, they are crazy. You can do anything from jumping out of a suitcase to pole dancing, which seems to be extremely popular on Twitter, playing with firecrackers, to sitting under an umbrella and saying this is a life, to smelling a flower. Those two are kind of my favorite. Anyway, play around, have fun. It's not that hard to use, honestly. I think they made it very user-friendly, very intuitive, especially since we're all so used to playing around with applications. And don't be afraid to mess it up because once you've saved your avatar, what is all this? Don't. Don't worry about all that. I've never needed all that. So once you have your avatar, it's not going anywhere. And if you ever want to play with other ones or you got sick of playing with your own, you know, open them up and get playing. I actually made this one for my friend Yesenia <laughs> for her birthday. And I surprised her with it because obviously this is still kind of new. So uh, I hope she felt special that I went and stalked her and found a picture on Facebook that actually worked and put it in and turned it into a mini her. This is totally styled just like her. So it's a super fun app if you want to make your friends feel special or indulge your narcissistic side. It's all up to you. Um, just because it's in Chinese does not mean that we cannot enjoy it. And I think it's time that we as Americans understand that amazing things are happening around the world and sometimes they're not in English. I'm talking about movies, I'm talking about applications, I'm talking about dissertations. That's not really what I'm talking about, but I'm sure that's happening too. The point is, I feel like the rest of the world is super globally minded and they're always like learning new languages, new words, always curious. And I think we should be the same way. So without getting too philosophical, I hope you guys enjoy the app as much as I did. And don't give it three stars on the app store just because it's not in English. It's an amazing app and the people that created it are super talented. And make sure you bring your phone charger wherever you're gonna go and play with this because it does suck up a lot of battery and you would not want it to die on you in the middle of a transformation. Hope you guys enjoyed this review slash tutorial. I hope it was helpful and I will talk to you soon.